streaming live TV from 85 plus top channels with unlimited DVR included. And unlike traditional services, you don't have to worry about hidden fees. YouTube TV, try it free.
make sure this is working. Uh, good evening, guests, parents, honored guests, especially the class of 2021. I am Mr. Solis, the principal of the high school and these fine students we have before us. This ceremony is about celebrating and acknowledging the accomplishments of the students of the senior class and our focus and our attention should be on these students. This year, I will not be your master of ceremonies for your graduation. I believe and feel that honor should be bestowed upon the individual you elected as your class president. But before I introduce this individual, never mind everyone in attendance, although this is a formal event, this is still a celebration. Feel free to express your joy, your pride, and your excitement for your graduate. I really, really encourage you to be loud tonight as much as possible. There we go. So please join me in welcoming your senior class president and master of ceremonies, Ms. Janae Massey Boyd. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Okay. So I am pleased to introduce the reader of the invocation this evening, Isaiah Valdez. Please bow your head for the invocation. Lord God, thank you for this special day. Be with us as we celebrate the achievements of our studies and great excitement about the future. Come take our skills and gifts that we celebrate today. May each of us know that your presence in our lives and understand how to use our abilities for your glory and kingdom. And may we continue to live lives of learning and discovery and doing so bring great blessings to the world. Amen. I am honored to introduce the reader of the welcome address this evening, Ashley Zapeta. everyone. I would like to welcome all parents, students, and families to the class of 2021 graduation. Thank you for coming out to celebrate each of our accomplishments and supporting us through these tough circumstances. I would also like to give a special thank you to our school board members, President Ms. Ida Chapa, Vice President Ms. Kay Smith, Secretary Ms. Juanita Alvarez, School Board Member Mr. Rene Alvarez, School Board Member Mr. J.D. Rodriguez III, School Board Member Mr. Frank Torres, School board, school board member, Mr. Ray Aranda, Su Superintendent Dr. Emilio Castro, and all high school staff for making a graduation possible. I am honored to have spent my high school years with such an amazing class, and we were all grateful that we have the opportunity to sit together one last time and watch each, each, and watch each other graduate. Here's to the class of 2021. I wish you all the best. To lead us through the National Anthem and Pledge of Allegiance, please welcome Crystal Rodriguez. Please rise for the playing of the national anthem.
please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Delivering the commencement address, Dilly alumni from the class of 2005, graduate of Texas A&M Corpus Christi, and Dilly Elementary Principal, Mr. Adam Martinez. Good evening, community members, family, friends, Dilly ISD faculty and staff, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2021. Let's hear it. I would first like to thank the Dilly ISD School Board, Dilly ISD Superintendent Dr. Emilio Castro, and Dilly High School Principal Roger Solis for the distinct honor and privilege to be here with you tonight as the guest speaker for the graduating class of 2021. When I was asked to be the speaker here tonight, I must admit I was a bit surprised. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be speaking in front of a class of seniors graduating from Dilley High School. I started thinking, what in the world do I say? What did the speaker at my graduation say? I finally came to the conclusion and the realization that I couldn't remember, and you may not remember what I say here tonight either. So if one thing is for sure, I'm going to try to keep it brief. I am Adam Martinez, and I'm currently the proud principal of Dilly Elementary School. I'm a 2005 graduate of Dilly High School, a 2010 graduate of Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi, and a 2013 graduate of Concordia University, Texas at Austin. I'm the son of Samuel and Lucy Martinez, who without their help and support, I would not be where I am today. Thank you so much, mom and dad. I'm also married to my beautiful wife, Tamara, who is a teacher here at Dilly ISD and who has been by my side and supported me every step of the way for the past 14 years. Thank you for putting up with me for all these years, by the way. We're blessed to have two wonderful children, Derek, a first grade student at Dilly Elementary School, and Addison, who attends the Dilly ISD Early Childhood Center. But enough about me. Class of 2021, what a year it has been. You've been through one of the most challenging times in the history of education, and you have made it here tonight. For that, I sincerely congratulate you. Seniors, look around. I hope this site makes you as happy as it does me. Being able to be here tonight with all of your family and friends is truly a blessing. Living through a worldwide pandemic has taught us a few things, one of them being things can change in the blink of an eye. Even tonight, as we're here together in a cafeteria and a gym, we are still able to celebrate, even if life threw us a little bit of a curveball tonight with the weather. Tonight marks the end of one journey in your life and the beginning of another one. You have worked really hard to get to this point here tonight, your high school graduation. But the reality is, the real world that so many people have probably told you about, well, that begins tomorrow. For some of you, that might sound like a scary thing. For others, you can't wait to get this graduation over with and finally be done with school. Here tonight, I wanted to share with you some things that might help you make it through the real world. Some things that I wish I had known along the journey of life. The first thing I'll share with you tonight is, in order to make it in the real world, you can't go through life alone. You need a support system. For some of you, that may start with your family. I know I was blessed to have a wonderful family support system that did not make failure an option. I was not a first generation college student. I was fortunate to have my brother Oscar and my sister Samantha both obtain college degrees by the time I graduated from high school. For me, my family would not accept anything less than the best and were there to support me every time I fell along the way. Everyone here tonight graduates, is here because of you. 
You have a whole community behind you. Some may be family, some may be friends, but all are on your side. We will not let you down. We will be there to catch you when you fall. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Put your pride to the side and allow those that love you and care about you to help you achieve your goals. Which brings me to the next thing I want to share with you here tonight. Seniors, in life, you will fall. A lot. So be prepared for things not to go your way. One thing that I've learned in my life, it's not, that, it's not so much what happens to you in life, it's how you respond to it. Nobody ever has full control over what happens to them in life, but you do control how you respond to things. The worldwide pandemic that we've all gone through and that we're still going through is a prime example of the things that are out of our control. We do not have control over a virus, but we do have control over how we protect ourselves from interacting with the virus. Don't be afraid to let go of things that you have no control over. I guarantee you, you would make it farther in life if you let go and let God take over. To make it in the real world, control the things that you can and focus on doing those things well. The one thing that you can always have control over is your attitude. Choose to have a good one. Many of you sitting here tonight have plans for the next chapter of your life. Some of you have college in your future. Some might uh, attend a trade school or another form of education. Some of you might decide to find a job around the area and stay a part of the community. Whatever decision that you make, you must find your purpose in life. Finding the thing that you're going to be passionate about might come easy, or you might have to try a lot of things before you find the thing that will make you get up in the morning. It is important to be true to yourself, even if it means doing something that will not align with the plans that others may have for you. Taking risk and following your heart may not always be the popular decision, but you only have one life and you have to make the most of it. Regardless of what you decide to do in the real world, life is always easier when you enjoy doing what you are meant to do. In closing here tonight, seniors, I hope you realize that we are very similar in a lot of ways. Much like you, my story has a lot left to be written. I'm excited for the rest of my story to be written, and I hope that you're excited about writing your own story. For those of you that are not graduating at the top of your class, or who are graduating without any college hours or a degree, I was in your exact shoes in 2005 when I graduated. I left Dilly High School without a single college credit and enrolled in a four-year university without a clue of what I was getting myself into. I am proof that if you work hard and stay committed, you can accomplish many things. Remember the few things that I have shared with you here tonight. Rely on your support system. And if you are ever in need, just look around and call on any one of us. We got your back. Don't be afraid of falling down in life. Be afraid of not getting back up. Don't sweat the small stuff. Life is too short to go through life angry and miserable. Find your passion and your purpose and enjoy life to the fullest. Dilly High School graduating class of 2021, we all expect great things from you because we know you are capable of delivering them. In our world of reality TV, I hate to break it to you, but you are the best reality show that we could ever tune into. We get to see your show each and every day, and we can't wait to see what will happen next. You all have us on the edge of your seats. Thank you once again for the opportunity to be here with you tonight. And don't worry, if you missed or tuned out of any of this speech, well, you can just watch it later on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you and enjoy the rest of your night. Providing the salutatory introduction is Mrs. Terry Robertson, director of Mighty Grey Wolf Band. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our salutatorian tonight. Thank you, Ashley, for giving me this honor and wel of welcoming you to the next stage of your life. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is a rare and much cherished thing to be able to hold open the door for someone with as much promise and as, ma any, as many brilliant opportunities ahead of them as our salutatorian, Ashley Zepeda, tonight. Ashley is the daughter of Jose and Yolanda Zepeda. Her academic accomplishments are many and are very well-rounded. Ashley competed in academic events and has participated in the band. She earned a seat in the region band. She earned a seat in the area band. Ashley has been a leader in high school. She was elected as a class officer. She earned the position of section leader in band. She earned the leadership position of drum major and band president. She was inducted and is the current vice president of the National Honor Society. She is also the vice president of her senior class. As a member of the early college high school program, Ashley earned the distinction of being inducted into the National Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and she will graduate with her associate's degree from Southwest Texas Junior College. Ashley was an incredibly busy young woman in high school. She managed to accomplish all of these feats and earn 60 college credit hours while managing to stay on top of her high school of her high achieving graduating class. Ashley plans to pursue a career as an educator after earning her bachelor's degree in psychology at Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi. All of these marvelous things, these victories great and small, these championships and titles represent not only the milestones of a successful high school career but also the extraordinary standards, the yardsticks by which Ashley's character is measured to this point and to which so many much aspire, must aspire, excuse me. Ashley has proven to herself, to her peers and to her elders and educators that she is first and foremost well prepared to tra tackle the road ahead and that hers will be an adventurous life in which she will not shy from. She will not be daunted by obstacles. She will not flinch in the darkest hour. Ashley has proven herself a skilled leader, superior in academics, a talented musician, and a role model who will surely continue to maintain her scholastic standards, meet and far exceed expectations no matter the hindrances that may lie in her path. Life cannot be without its challenges. But if any one truly exemplifies the American spirit of success so perfectly phrased by John D. Rockefeller Jr., I quote, the secret of success is to do the common thing uncommonly well. And it is with this great pride in, our, in the finest of our students that I introduce to you our salutatorian, Ashley Zepeda. Before I get into my speech, I would like to thank my teachers, whether previous or current, for helping me throughout my years and making sure I was on the right track to succeed. I would also like to thank my fellow band members, classmates, community, and friends for making memories with me, laughing with me, and creating 2021 a great senior year for me. To my brothers, sisters, and other family members for encouraging me to thrive to the best of my ability, helping me make decisions when needed, and being there to support me throughout my high school years as well. And finally, I would like to thank my mom and dad. Although one cannot be with us here in person, I would like to thank them both. I would like to thank both of you for loving me, caring me, and being my number one supporters. <laughs> well, class of 21, we finally did it. All of, you who took, all of you who are sitting in those chairs tonight will soon walk the stage, get your diploma, and start a new beginning somewhere else. While many of you, like myself, are excited to start a new beginning somewhere else, I know some of you are scared to do as what are scared to do what you want to do now, now that you'll be graduated. Do not feel as though you have to know what you have to do with your life now if you aren't sure, for you have so many future years to look forward to in order to figure out what you really want. Those of you that do know what to do with, with your life, I wish you guys the best of luck with your goals and hope you continue to thrive or strive for the best you can be of yourself. To all of you, whether you know what you want to do in life or are still deciding, I know each and every one of you are, has potential to do something amazing with your life. 
There will be obstacles. There will be obstacles you will face as time goes on, but just know you can overcome them when you put your mind to it. Do not be afraid to make mistakes. Making them is a learning process that will make you stronger in the end. As the famous Benjamin Franklin once said, "Do not fear mistakes. You will know failure. Continue to reach out." To the parents, grandparents, family members, and other supporters here watching your loved ones graduate, I hope you are extremely proud seeing them here. Well, it says on the field, but we're here now. Um, and we'll continue to be there for them for whatever they may do. Do not be sad that they are graduated. Be happy for them as they are growing into matured adults. Plus, you should be happy now there could be you know, less stress without them. So, while they may not ask you for help as much as they used to when, you f when they finally go off on their own, I am positive that they have appreciated everything you have done for them. Whether they have said their thank yous now or later down the line, just know that you have made an important impact in their lives. As a piece of their heart will be with you always as you do the same for your loved one or loved ones here tonight. All I have to say to those of you here tonight watching us graduate, whether here in person or online, is thank you. Thank you for raising my classmates, for being there for them, and making their lives eventful and full of memories. I hope they are able to continue to make you proud, as they've made me proud too. Once again, I would like to congratulate to the class of 2021 for making it to the end. May all of your futures be bright and successful, whatever you do. While this may be a rough year for many of us, keep your head up, for there are better times and futures that await for all of us. Do not be afraid to put yourself out there in this big world, in this big and new world you're about to experience. Who knows you, what you'll find when you do? Thank you. Delivering the valedictorian introduction tonight will be high school counselor, Ms. Deborah Solis. Good evening. In presenting this year's valedictorian, I want to share this poem titled, She Walks in Grace and Beauty. She walks in grace and beauty. No harsh words pass her lips. Her smile lights up every room. With her presence, she does grace. Only truth shall she speak, blessed with words of wisdom. And throughout this life, she walks in grace and beauty. She is admired for her kindness, her sweetness, and humble character. She always welcomes you with a warm and engaging smile. She is elegant and poised. She is wise beyond her years. She is stoic and she is genuine. She is the epitome of grace and beauty. Should I stand here before you and read off all her accomplishments and her talents, I would be here for an eternity. There are no words to, dis to express just how special this young lady is. I look forward to what mark she creates in this world, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for her. She will begin this journey at Baylor University, where she will be studying computer science, specializing in cybersecurity. Please join me in introducing your 2021 Dilly High School valedictorian, Janae Massey Boyd. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> so good evening, respected guests and members of the community, teachers, administrators, family, and friends. You have all done so much for each graduate sitting here tonight. So thank you for all the love and support you have given to this year's class and all you will continue to offer future ones. But most of all, congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. We did it. Every <laughs> Um, everyone here tonight, myself included, is tremendously proud of every single one of you, graduates, and all we have accomplished during this very unfavorable senior year. But we made the most of it, and that's what counts. But before I begin, I would like to say that I am immensely honored to be standing here before you as the 2021 valedictorian and for being allowed to say a few words about this little journey of mine. 
When I was preparing to write this speech, I procrastinated a smidge more than I should have, not because I'm afraid of crying in front of all of you, maybe a little, or that I didn't exactly know what I wanted to say. I put it off because, first of all, it's much harder to write a speech than I initially thought, but mainly because the day we have all anticipated is finally here. We have all worked so hard to get where we are, and tonight is officially the night where we say goodbye to the past four years spent at Dilly High School. It seems as if we were just freshmen excitedly exchanging class schedules to, sh to see if we shared any with close friends, the start of a new chapter in each of our books. At that time, graduation seemed like a distant future, attainable but too early to reach for. Now, I stand here wondering where all the time went and how so many things have changed since 14-year-old Janae walked into her first period class on that dreadful first day. Throughout these four years, we have all been able to watch each other develop into the individuals we are today. And looking out at all of my fellow graduates, I cherish that I am familiar with each of you, even if I'm not close with all of you. Tonight means something different for everyone. Some of you may be relieved, others emotional and nostalgic, and perhaps even feelings of uneasiness about what the future holds. But whatever you may be feeling, remember this is just a continuation of our journey. Each of us started when we stepped foot into our kindergarten classrooms and met each other for the first time, and where coloring outside the lines was our biggest problem. Just as we graduated then, we are graduating now, and moments in our life that we wish would last forever will eventually end, and that's okay. We must continue to look forward in hopes that whatever is ahead of us will surpass what we left behind. And while it sounds absurd, since the beginning of my education and being old enough to understand what the title of valedictorian actually was, I had claimed that it would be mine. Little did I know then the strenuous amounts of work and the late nights and the tears that would come with making such a claim. I remember I took pride in maintaining my A's in fifth grade and staying on that big gold star perched on the wall right by the exit door in that old school building, which doesn't exist anymore. Thankfully, I had considerable support then. I would go on and on to Mr. Ramirez about how I, want, how I wanted to be an oil engineer, just like my dad, and he supported me through and through. I was terrible at math and knew little to none about the oil industry, being 10 years old and all. But he said if I wanted to do it, I could. And while that career is not what I want to pursue anymore, the support was appreciated nonetheless. While most of middle school seems like a blur to me, I continued to strive for excellence. However, I had fun along the way. Being in student council had its perks. Staying after school with Mrs. Bean and taking candy from her large container in the corner of her classroom, I always got the grape-flavored Jolly Ranchers. Having to wake up at 5 a.m. to help make tacos for Teacher Appreciation Week and then getting to skip class to hand them out was always something I secretly enjoyed. Being on the tennis team for the first time, actually being good at it, learning how to type with the little orange keyboard covers and complaining then, but being able to type fast now. Taking the bus to the high school to take Miss Mattingly's algebra class always made me feel dashing, and I'm sure a few of you can attest to that. And when the end of the year awards rolled around in eighth grade, I received the award for being top of the class then. It was a great feeling, especially since it was the first award ceremony my dad had ever attended. For him to be able to physically see what I accomplished, instead of just hearing me talk my head off when I got home from school, made me so proud. I still have a note he wrote me as a congratulations, and sometimes I feel as if I'm still standing there in the kitchen with him as he handed it to me. Sorry. I do wish that feeling could have lasted forever, but as I've stated, everything must come to an end. And while that was the first ceremony my dad ever attended, it was also his last. I had to cherish every waking moment, because you never know how long it can last. The end of middle school was the beginning of a more complicated phase in my life, one that would teach me lessons I never thought I would have to learn. So the mere concept of high school used to terrify me, if I'm honest, reverting to being the youngest grade again, seeing people I didn't know, and being in a completely different building was really scary. Thankfully, though, it was not as frightening as my anxious mind made it out to be. Throughout the first two years, I made some great new friends, and I met some interesting teachers, and I took some rough courses. My freshman and sophomore years were a great time where I did some self-exploring and truly started to feel comfortable as a student and as, as an individual. Then, junior year rolled around, and while that year, of course, had its highs, also with it brought lows. My dad became incredibly ill and passed away in February, the second semester of my junior year. And during that time, I truly began to question my actions as a student. I had worked so hard up until that point, and for one of the two people whose support I cared so much for, leaving me wasn't fair. 
I had put everything into being a star student to make my parents proud. And for him to not be here today made all my motivation disappear. He had given me so much advice throughout the years, and he always told me to work hard for what I wanted and that nothing worth, ha wor nothing worth having comes easy. He was the hardest working man I ever had the chance of knowing, and his worth ethic has reflected onto my own. Therefore, this was a bit harder to grasp. The whole beginnings must have their ends. However, as my mom has told me time and time again, while I only got to spend 16 years of my life with him, I got to enjoy every minute of it until his ending, although his story ended too fast for my liking. So even though he might not physically be here with me tonight, I know he's out there somewhere, maybe sitting in the empty chair next to mom, silently thinking about how proud he is of me, because I know for a fact that he would be. So throughout all of this, though, my mom has always been there for me. She's been my shoulder to cry on, even when I didn't want to, my number one criticizer. It's OK, though. I appreciate it. The reason I'm such a perfectionist and the person I tell absolutely everything to. She's helped me more times than I can count and has given me countless pieces of advice for all situations. She always seems to come to the rescue when I need it. Without all of her love and su constant support, I genuinely do not think I would be the student I am today. So thank you so much, Mom. One of the main reasons I can stand here today is because of you. <laughs> here. <laughs> To all of the teachers I've had these past four years, some of them gone and some here today, thank you. You may not know it, but because of you, I have been able to grow immensely due to your teachings. Mrs. Solis, thank you for putting up with my copious amounts of emails regarding college applications and helping me in every way possible. Mrs. Starnes, thank you for being the sweetest soul and praising me. It means more to me than you know. Mr. Vasquez, I don't know if he's here, but I've had you for the past two years, and thank you for making us watch the news every morning in your class. <laughs> it kept me up to date with the current events, and I really will miss attending your class every morning. And Mrs. Drinkard, your copious amounts of essays you have assigned these past two years have shaped me into a much better writer, and while it was stressful, I'm so thankful for it. And to all of my friends, graduate or not, I'm so immensely grateful for each of you, and thank you for making these past few years bearable. And to my family, thank you for your continued support and encouragement. I could stand here all night thanking each of you, but know that you all share a part in helping me stand up here tonight. So while we have spent the past 13 years or so dedicated to the Dilly School District, it has officially come to an end, and that's all right. Just as many moments in my life had their beginnings and unfortunate endings, as I'm sure each of you has had as well, this is just another to add to the list. It went by fast, just like everyone tells you when you first step foot into high school. So as I stand here tonight, I don't know every one of you graduates intimately. I don't know your favorite color or your struggles or what makes you happy or what upcoming plans you have for your future as you might not know of mine. However, at this moment, all of that is unnecessary. Most of us have been here since kindergarten with a handful of individuals coming and going along the way, but we have all gotten to see each other grow as people. I hope each of you has cherished every moment along the way, just as I learned to, and carry it with you for years to come. And as much as I have longed for this day, I dislike endings. Reaching the last page of a good book always makes me want to read a little bit slower, so I won't have to read the, the end text in the middle of the next page. But endings are inevitable, and while saddening, there is something beautiful about them. We can finally put that old book down and reach for a new one, one that is possibly even better than the last. Thank you. All right, we're getting closer to the moment you guys have been waiting for. Got a few formalities. The first one is the presentation of the senior class for graduation. Dr. Castro, members of the Board of Trustees, I hereby attest that I have reviewed the academic records of the students here tonight, and they have met all requirements for graduation from Dewey High School. It is my great honor to present for the awarding diplomas, Dewey High School's class of 2021. By the authority vested in me as superintendent of schools from the state of Texas, the Texas Education Agency, and the Dilly ISD Board of Trustees, 
I hereby accept the recommendation and certification made by Principal Solis that all candidates here tonight have met all the requirements of Dilley High School and the state of Texas to become certified graduates from Texas. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of you and for you. Parents and seniors, it's now the time you've worked for. Since you were born and up to this moment, your parents have aspired and longed to hear your name called and see you across the stage to receive your high school diploma, signifying the start of a different life. A life that would be different for you, but also be different for your parents, grandparents, and guardians. When I call your name, please step forward to receive your diploma. Janae Massey Boyd. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Cepeda. Charles Jose Rujerovic. Isaiah Anthony Valdez. Ashton Thomas Lampar. <laughs> Crystal Maldonado Rodriguez. Diago Tierra Torres. <laughs> Andrea Sandoval. <laughs> Unfortunately, she cannot be with us tonight. We still wish her well. Destiny Michelle Molina. Leilu Francois Marquez. <laughs> and for our next graduate, could you please refrain from photo photography? No cameras on our next graduate, please. Ashley Jeanette Lopez. Elisa Aguilar. Kestrian <laughs> Aranda.
Danica Excel Aranda. And the one who always gave me, gave me a heart attack, Jaren Ryan Aranda. Alec Jaden Benavides. <laughs> Skyler Diane Bradshaw. Jason Elijah Cantu. <laughs> Garrett Lee Castor. <laughs> Alex Anthony De La Rosa. Mero Lizette de Real. <laughs> Isaiah Nicholas Equia. Aaron Michael Espinosa. Jose Maria Espinosa. Angelina Marie Ford. <laughs> Abel Garcia the third. Ananayeli Caterina Pachado Garcia. Miari Marie Garcia. Sadie Garcia. <laughs> Herbert Isaac Garfield. Sergio Alfredo Ghana Jr. <laughs> Carlos Gonzalez Jr. Karina.
Carolina Eliana Gonzalez. Jacqueline Marie Gonzalez. Jamika Marie Guerra. Nico Demetrio Guerra. <laughs> Isabel Lupita Hernandez. Brandon Ricardo Hughes. <laughs> Christian Angelina Kinsey. Ashley Jeanette Lopez. <laughs> Brianna Lizette Lopez. Alexander Luna. <laughs> Christian Edward Maldonado. <laughs> Ryan Isaiah Martel Wilson Amercar Melendez Jr. Thanks, Roger. <laughs> it was a promise. Jada Lynn Olivares. Jolene Nicole Perales Martinez. Brandon Isaiah Pichardo.
Matthew Jordan Quiroga. Michael Ramirez. <laughs> Zeta Tanith Reyes. Lozano Rodriguez. <laughs> Damien Angel Rodriguez. Deandra D. Rodriguez. <laughs> Ike Rodriguez. Mia Nicole Rodriguez. <laughs> Danelli Marie Reese. Mia Elizabeth Sambrano. Jonathan Enrique Trevino. Cassandra Uvalle. <laughs> Mia Alondra Venezuela. Kaden Joe Vega. Now, I have the privilege to lead my classmates in the tassel turn. Your tassel symbolizes your time as a student, and in moving it, you will recognize the earning of your degree. So will all the graduates please stand? Okay. So take this moment to commemorate all of your accomplishments these past four years. If you would, please join me in turning your tassel from right to left. So, 
everyone. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You may now be seated. <laughs> now, I am honored to introduce the reader of the benediction this evening, Lilu Marquez. I'm assuming you can hear me. Okay, uh, please bow your heads while I do this. <laughs> uh, good and loving God, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon these graduates as we are all sent forward into the world. May God who began this work in us carry it through to completion and like, eh, enabling us to use our talents to the fullest. May God give us the grace to make these wise choices and be faithful to our commitments, always confident in the support of those who love us. May God bless us with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that we will live deep within our hearts. <laughs> Sorry. May God bless us with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that we will work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless us with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war so that we will reach out our hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless us with the foolishness to think that we can make a difference in the world so that we will do things which others tell us cannot be done. And lastly, may our integrity be a gift to the world and may the spirit of God be with us always. Amen. Well, many of us, oh, I'll wait for Lulu to sit down. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> While many of us have heard this tune repeatedly at various school events these past four years, tonight will be the last. Will everyone please rise for the playing of the school song? Mm -hmm. 